Jacinda Fadad is warning parents to be on their guard after a man attempted to lure his 14-year-old daughter into a car in Mitcheldean. Jody Crowell and her friend Kaylee Jade Reed were walking along the A4136 in Mitcheldean when the incident happened. We spoke to Jody's dad, Peter. My girlfriend is a school teacher and she got warned about three months ago to be on the lookout for a man with a silver car. And uh, when Jody rang up and set the alarm bells, especially about the silver Mondale, I think it's the Mondale, uh, obviously this man hasn't been frightened, he hasn't gone away, and it sounds as though he's working in a Gloucestershire area. And I think people need to be aware that this man is still at large, and he hasn't gone away, and he hasn't been frightened. So I've urged these two to get in touch with the press, to let everybody realise this man's still about, and anybody younger than these two could have been easily approached and gone into that car and God knows what might have happened. So people need to be aware this man is at large and to be very careful. The scenes at Stofield Business Park in Lidbrook could be mistaken for a full-blown riot. Gloucestershire police are using the former cardboard manufacturing site for public order training. We went down to the historic factory for a blow-by-blow -blow account. We train hard to fight easy. Um, the, some of the, the violence that you've seen for yourself today um, offered against the, the officers, uh, we hope um, that they would never be confronted with that level of, of violence and confrontation. Um, but if they are, then as you've seen from the training exercise, they're used to dealing with that level of confrontation. Um, the, they have to understand that the, the level of noise, the level of aggression, um, and the impact of missiles on, on the shields that they've got and on their public order uh, protective equipment. Um, so that builds their confidence um, around the, the equipment as well. And, and I think we've got the balance about right, um, where the, we can train hard, um, and if we do have to deploy tactics on the street, then uh, it would be unlikely that we would see uh, the level of, of aggression that we saw today. We've got a combination of roads, large open areas, buildings, corridors, stairs, um, and all those um, different challenges uh, present us with an ideal uh, training opportunity. Within the region, which uh, includes forces such as Devon and Cornwall, even in Somerset, Wiltshire ourselves, um, it's very difficult to get a suitable training venue, um, and this site is one of only two uh, that we use on a regular basis. Local account executive Alison Moody landed a fairy tale role in the new Sex and the City movie. The 24 year old was doing an internship in New York when she noticed a casting call on the internet for the film. We caught up with her at Chax Hill where she works for Renegade Media to find out more. Well basically I was living in New York last year and um, I've always been a huge Sex and the City fan and um, I just knew that I had to find some way to be in this movie somehow and there was such a huge hype when I was over there because they were filming when I just arrived and I just happened to see a casting notice online um, for extras or kind of supporting roles so I thought okay well I might as well just you know go along so I arrived at this casting and um, it was just insane. There was just a line snaking around the block and I just thought, oh no, like I can't, it was raining and I just thought, I, I don't want this that badly. But then I actually, um, I just sent my photos into the casting agency and they gave me a ring and they just, yeah, they basically said they want me for the next day and can I come in and that's how I got it. It felt actually really fun and, and quite an honor in a way because you felt like you were really part of something big. And especially for me, it was like this full circle moment just because I've loved the show for so many years and it's always represented to me sort of what, what I imagined New York to be. And, and, and because I was living there and I just really felt kind of part of my dream and it was, it was just a really wonderful moment. And finally, it was all hands to the pump when Cinderford firefighters freed a driver trapped in his car. Thankfully, it was a staged event which marked the first time the new training pad at their station was put to use. We jumped aboard to watch the rescue operation in action. Okay, basically it's a training exercise and uh, we were called to an RTC, road traffic collision, with one person trapped. Uh, on arrival, the paramedics were already in attendance, being played by the firefighters. And uh, basically we had one male person trapped by his legs. Uh, the frontal impact had crushed the front of the vehicle onto his legs. He had spine and uh, back injuries, lost a feeling in his legs as well. So our task was to create as much space as possible so that we could extract the casualty in a safe manner without having to cause him any more damage to his spine and also release his legs from the, the crushed vehicle. Fires are proportionally play a lesser part of our job nowadays. We do more rescue work, so this facility fits the purpose of what we do.
Cinderford is now designated as the RTC support station for the whole of the forest. We've got additional equipment on our uh, new appliance and any RTC call that comes into any of the forest stations we will go as well to back them up. So that's New Ink, Coford uh, and Lydney as well we go to now. That's all for FTV this week but for a full roundup of all your local news and sport grab a copy of this week's paper and for your breaking news visit our website at www.thisisgloucestershare.co.uk Thanks for watching.